Hi everyone, my name is Adam. In this video, I will be showing you the extensive list of improvements and features you can expect in ACDC Ultimate 2025, Professional 2025, and Home 2025. I'll be showcasing these features using ACDC Ultimate. Many of these features expand upon AI advancements we've been making to the software, in addition to features users like you have been requesting. The blue icon that appears in the bottom right will indicate that a listed feature is available in Ultimate 2025, where the red and yellow icons represent Professional and Home, respectively. All three icons means a feature is available in all 2025 products. Features are timestamped. See the description below. AI Architecture One of the most fundamental and powerful changes to ACDC is the new AI architecture. Changes that previously used your central processing unit or CPU now use the power of your graphics processing unit or GPU. This means that tools like AI masking, AI face edit, AI sky replacement, and the new AI super resolution are significantly faster. AI super resolution. AI super resolution is a tool brand new to every version of ACDC. It dramatically enhances the resolution of your images. This image is a historical photograph that you can see has a very small resolution. It's approximately 600 by 900 pixels. We can use AI super resolution to increase the size and resolution of our image without compromising quality or pixelating our image. In manage mode, I can navigate to AI super resolution by clicking on AI from the top menu bar. By doing so, a window will appear. The window allows us to perform an AI operation that can either increase the overall size of our image by percent, note the 200% increase, pixel size, which is customizable while still preserving aspect ratio, print size in either inches, millimeters, or centimeters with adjustable resolution, and increasing size by the both long edge or short edge, which affects the height and width in this particular image. AI strength controls the severity of the AI operation on our image. Low AI strength will preserve more of the intrinsic image, while higher AI strength will aim to fill in the gap of information that results from small image scaling. Do not be afraid to use high AI strength settings. Enhancing your image will create a copy in the same folder location as the target image. Note that both the target location and the final file type of the image can be changed in the options. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of my image. Notice the incredible repair and preservation of detail established on this image while doubling the final file size. Batch Super Resolution. Also new to 2025 is the Batch AI Super Resolution tool. You can select multiple files within ACDC and navigate to the Batch function underneath the main menu bar. By selecting AI Super Resolution, you can either use the Super Resolution Editor on your images to control the output, or simply use times two, times three, and times four quick selections to increase your resolution by their respective quality. Tabbed Browser. ACDC 2025 now features a tabbed browser in Manage Mode. Tabs vastly improve your digital asset management by allowing for quick access to desired locations. You can see your open tabs on the top of the preview window. Note that my active tab, which is my pictures folder, will be updated when I navigate to a new folder, such as my landscape folder. I can open or close folders by using my mouse's middle click button. I'll use the folder navigate window to open up my birds folder as a tab. Note that more can be tabbed other than folders. I can search for people or landscape images 
and the tab will reflect my search criteria. Meanwhile, I can tab to and from my prior landscape and bird folder tabs. Catalog searches based on metadata you've created can also be tabbed. I'll use the plus button to add a new tab and click on the catalog window to search for images with a rating of five. Note that my tab reflects my catalog search. By hovering over the tab, a tooltip appears informing me of my search criteria. Now I can swap tabs between folders, catalog metadata, searches, and more. Activity Manager. Previous iterations of ACDC had several background processes that were not as transparent to the user. However, now in 2025, all background processes like AI keywords and face detection are visible in the Activity Manager. You can find the manager in Manage Mode on the right-hand Properties panel. Use the tab at the top of the section to navigate to the Activity Manager. When browsing folders for the first time, AI keywords are created and faces are automatically detected to allow further metadata control. This panel shows when they are completed, but also gives the ability to control whether or not you want these processes to run idly. Simply click a toggle switch to the right of the process to turn it off. Certain processes, such as raw image preview, are essential to view your raw images and therefore can't be turned off. Note that the Activity Manager also highlights queued import activities. For example, if I was to import from my disk, navigating to my Pictures folder, I can import my People folder, placing it in a new location, such as the one I've created for 2025. Importing will result in a queued activities window producing a status bar. Once the process is complete, the activity is moved into my History panel, located below, and a status report is visible by clicking on the Details button. Keyword and Category Improvements Both keywords and categories now contain easy select icons and bulk actions. When using the Organize tab within the Properties panel, you will notice new icons directly beneath where you assign both categories and keywords. Easy select icons appear to the left of each keyword. This allows you to select multiple keywords at once. Selected keywords will turn the easy select icon blue. The bulk actions at the bottom allow you to do the following. You can select all keywords, clear your active keyword selection, assign any selected keywords, or unassign selected keywords. Additionally, you can unassign all selected keywords from a photo or delete the selected keywords entirely. These are a huge improvement upon previous workflows where you had to individually click each respective keyword or category. Support for AVIF. 2025 now supports both writing and viewing one of the most popular compact file formats, AVIF. Any save as prompt will now feature AVIF in addition to BMPs, GIFs, JPEGs, PNGs, etc. Auto Advance. People Mode now features Auto Advance. Here I've navigated to People Mode from the Mode Selector on the top right menu. Now when you are naming your unnamed subjects, grouped or ungrouped, the tool will automatically advance to the next subject in your list with the naming field selected, so no further clicks are necessary. Apply Layer Masks. In edit mode, complex layer masks can now be applied permanently to layers by right-clicking and selecting Apply Layer Mask. For example, here I have made an AI object selection of this succulent pot. From here, I can create a mask. I have masked my subject. However, if I want to reduce the file size and complexity of my layer, I can right-click on the layer and select Apply Layer Mask. By applying the layer mask, I have removed it and made my selection a permanent transparency. I can combine this layer with others in my layer stack or simply save this as a PNG file for a low file size transparent image. More skies. The sky replacement tool located in the filter panel of edit mode now contains two new packs of default skies. Find them under category overcast and fireworks. Simply click the desired sky and use the position, adjustment, and refinement tools to change the shape 
edge and color balance of your new sky. AI Object Masking Develop Mode now features the ability to select objects using AI. To begin an object mask, simply select the masking window on the left of the develop mode and click the objects masking option. Much like AI object selection and edit mode, objects can be masked using three tools. New selection will create a mask predicated upon the lasso selection that you make. Here I will select one of the boots using the lasso. If I navigate to the general masking tools, I can increase the saturation, contrast, and temperature. Notice that the boot changes in both hue and luminance. If I want to extend this masking to the other boot, I simply click the Add to Current Mask option from within the selection controls. I'll add the other boot. Now the other boot is added and the effects are applied. I will also add the watch. Click the Show Mask button at any point to illustrate your mask or what you've selected. I can use the Subtract from Mask button in the object selection controls to remove a portion from my mask. Here I'll remove the watch. Color Range Masking In addition to object masking, Develop Mode has also gained color masking. I can click on the Range Masking to select a range of hue. In my image, I can use the Color Picker to move the color wheel to the range I want to alter. From here, I will turn on Show Mask and draw inwards the saturation until only saturated pinks are selected. I'll navigate to Color EQ and alter the hue of the reds, oranges, and magentas. By warming each of these, I can watch as the pink mat I selected at the beginning of the masking process begins to take on a new color. Luminance Masking Luminance is another masking option new to develop mode. Find it next to Color Range Masking on the left panel. The color picker indicates the brightness of a particular pixel. Use the range controls located on the left to mask the corresponding range of brightness. The top two controls allow you to select the desired range, while the bottom two controls allow you to select in gradual increments, avoiding harsher masks. I will select the blacks and shadows in my image by moving my controls to capture the ranges from around 0 to 60. If I unclick Show Mask, I can add exposure to the areas I have masked and even add detail to them as well. Notice that along the power lines in my image, a thin white line emerged. This is a masking error that can be softened and removed by adding feathering. Another new feature to masking in develop mode. Here's my mask without feathering as seen by the mask preview and here's my image with feathering turned on. The sharpness of the effect is reduced and the effect is applied more gently. In addition to feathering, refine edge has been also added to masking in develop mode. In this image, I have my subject masked. If I wanted to adjust the edge of my mask, I can use the shift function to move the mask further away from the subject or to bring the mask further inwards. This gives me greater control over the adjustments that pertain to my mask. Brushes and shapes. Shapes have been improved to preserve aspect ratio when added to your images. Here I have selected the rectangle tool and am holding shift as I increase the size of my object to place my square. Brush strokes function the same way by holding shift as I draw. The 90 degree angles are preserved. Finally, while using the brush tool, I can hold shift and click to automatically complete my line to the location of my choosing. All shapes, brush strokes, and lines are now more user-friendly and are not nearly as subject to misclicks. That's most of the improvements and features in ACDC 2025. More specific features and smaller improvements that couldn't be included here can be found on their corresponding product pages listed in the description. Please stay tuned for more tutorial content by clicking on the bell icon and please like, comment, and subscribe.